Hi guys, Keegan here with Champion Helmets. We finally gotten our hands on the new piece to GPRR from AGV, so we thought we would see how it compares to the original GPR out on the road. If it isn't obvious by the name, the piece to GPRR is the updated version of AGV's popular top of the line racing helmet, the piece to GPR. This update comes with a small price increase of about 50 euros, with the recommended retail price of the GPRR coming in at 1,250 euros, around 1,400 US dollars, compared to the GPR's 1,200 euros, around 1,350 US dollars. We have already put out a video going over the minor changes that have been made to the piece of GPRR, and if you want to check that out, I'll link to that at the end of the video. But today, we are going to see if those changes, and that extra R, have any significant effect on the road. If you want to check out our dedicated reviews for either of these helmets, or if you want to see any of our other road tests, then please head on over to our YouTube channel where you can take a look at our review and road test playlists. So before we get started, I'll quickly go over the main features for both of these helmets, and you notice that they are very, very similar. They both come in four shell sizes with the shell made out of 100% carbon fiber, and they also share the same weight of roughly 1,450 grams. Another thing both helmets have in common is their visor, which is the exact same visor. It's a quality visor which is easy to remove without tools, and it comes pinlock and tariff repaired with the pinlock included in the box. The GPRR does have a slightly larger spoiler and more customization for the inner liner, and it does also have the new FIM safety certification. Now that we are on the bike, I'm going to quickly point out the monitors and sensors we'll be using to gather our data. On the left, there's a white monitor keeping track of the internal temperature of the helmet, with its sensor located inside the helmet at the top of our rider's head. In the middle on the top, we have a decibel meter to monitor the helmet's noise isolation, with that sensor located between our rider's head and the lining, and on the right you can see the wind speed, and finally in the middle on the dashboard you can see the speed of travel in kilometers per hour, as well as the outside temperature. So let's start with the old guard, the Pista GPR. Being AGV's top-of-the-line racing helmet, it is no surprise that our rider had few complaints. He found it to be comfortable, but did note that the liner was a little thin. He also found that the ventilation worked well, though it performs at its best when riding in a tucked racing position. Unsurprisingly, the helmet was aerodynamically stable, though our rider is not quite traveling at the same speeds that one will experience on the track. Data for this helmet was collected while traveling at an average speed of 130 km per hour down long stretches of highway. The wind speed was around 120 km per hour, and the outside temperature was between 21 and 22 degrees Celsius. The internal temperature of the piece to GPR fluctuated between 22 and 23 degrees Celsius, making it about one degree hotter than the outside temperature. As for noise isolation, the helmet was rather loud, measuring around 107 decibels of noise inside the helmet. However, racing helmets are not built with noise isolation in mind, with it being expected that racers will wear earplugs. Knowing this, our rider wore the earplugs provided with the helmet and had no issues with the noise. Given the performance of the piece to GPR during the road test, we rate it 4.5 stars out of 5, making it one of the top helmets available on the market. It is also one of the most expensive helmets on the market, with each star from each category costing around 44 euros. Moving on to the shiny and new piece to GPR R, our rider found the helmets to be very similar. Ventilation and aerodynamics were similar according to our rider, though we do expect the aerodynamics of the GPR R to perform just a little bit better on the track. The one thing our rider did mention that is different is that the new piece to GPRR is noticeably more comfortable with a much more comfortable liner. Other than that, our rider noticed almost no difference. Let's see if our data agrees. Once again, the data was collected while traveling at an average speed of 130 km per hour down the same stretches of highway. The wind speed was fluctuating between 115 and 120 km per hour, and the outside temperature was just a little bit cooler at 20 degrees Celsius. The internal temperature of the piece to GPRR was around 21 degrees Celsius, one degree hotter than the outside temperature, which is similar to the original GPR. As for noise isolation, the results are the same as the GPR, with the decibel meter registering 107 decibels of noise. Our rider did once again wear earplugs and did not find the noise to be a problem. Having seen the performance of the GPRR, we find it to be very similar to the GPR in performance as well as name. However, improvements in comfort and minor improvements elsewhere in the helmet convince us to award the piece to GPRR 5 stars out of 5. It is just a little more expensive than the GPR, 
with each star costing around 45 euros. Having seen both tests, let's see how our data compares. The data is very easy to see thanks to our nice friendly graph. For temperature, both helmets performed the same, with each helmet having an internal temperature one degree hotter than the temperature outside. They did also perform the same in noise isolation, with each helmet registering 107 decibels of noise. Like I've said, there is very little to differentiate between these two helmets. Now that we've seen both helmets, please remember that you can find both of these helmets on our website at championhelmets.com, and once you're there, you can visit the product page for each helmet, read a full product description, and see what product bundles we have available. We have put father and son head to head, and we've seen our results. And it turns out the old adage is true. The apple does not fall far from the tree. Both helmets have very comparable results in all of our categories. Improvements in customization result in the GPRR having a slight advantage in comfort, and the larger spoiler similarly has a positive impact on aerodynamics. Other than that, the results show that these helmets look a little more like twins. However, I don't think anyone will complain about slight improvements for only a small increase in price. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them for you. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content. Once again, my name is Keegan with Champion Helmets, and I hope to see you again soon.